Yo, yo, yo. What up, Best Boat Club? How we doing today? Today on the menu, we're going to go through all the vehicles. This is the ultimate boat guy. We're going to tell you if you should build it, if you shouldn't build it, whether you need it or you don't. How many people you playing with? That, that, that matters too. Are you worried about storage? That might take effect too. Gas? That might take effect too, you know? But uh, we about to get into the nitty gritty. Been uh, sorry, I've been missing a couple days. You know, obligations and life and all that. They be telling you you gotta work, and then I go work. But here we is. Yeah, we got the paddle boat. So the paddle boat is no gas. It requires your movement. Uh, it has a chest. Let me hit the UI for y'all. As a chest, you can fit one passenger. Drives on the right hand side. And it makes this terrible, terrible, terrible noise. So as you guys can hear, that's the noise that it makes. This is the turning radius. Very, very wide. A little bit hard to manage. I'm up to like 50 kilometers an hour. Yeah, definitely not a recommend. I mean, I was talking to my buddy uh, right before we started filming. And uh, basically, the only thing this is good for is this chest. That's, that's the only thing. That is it. Build cost. Paddle boat. 15 scrap, six components. Not great. Not great, not great at all. Uh, the best thing to do with this boat is when you're looking at it, you just do one of these and then oops. And that's how she goes. No more paddle boat. Never, never make the paddle boat. It is not worth it. But next we have a guaranteed great starter. Now this one, I would say, you know, it's pretty it's pretty good. You got your um got some gas in here. You got your standard crate, size of a large, the biggest backpack in the game. I'm pretty sure it's the biggest storage in the game. Yeah. Uh, all the boats from here on out, aside from one, will have storage. So this one, as you can see, you have a flag right here. This flag is going to tell you the direction of the wind. So you're going to drop your sail by pressing R. And now you see this is with the wind. But you're, when you build the boat, your sail is more than likely going to be like this. And as you can see, uh, we're only going 50 kilometers an hour. But if we look at this flag and see that it's pointing like that direction, we're gonna turn our sail to match oh, to match that. And now look at our look in the bottom right uh, over here. Now we got some a little bit of extra speed. You know what I'm saying? I think you can get it to like 74, 75. Yeah, there you go. Get 77 for a second. But yeah, it's not a bad boat. It's a good starter. Um, it it does get. You do get spoiled once you get the gas boats. And uh, it is nice to go, you know, much faster in any direction. You don't have to worry about the wind and having to sail in your face and all that. But for the beginning, this boat is great. Like I said, you could fit uh, four, uh, three, four people total in the boat. You got yourself a wooden chest. You can go 60 kilometers per hour if the wind allows, although you don't get as lucky as I get right now. Sometimes it's just, you'll be going 50 the whole way and it's it's not it's not terrible, but it's just, you know, it's, it's like I said, once you, once you progress past this boat, you'll like, oh, I don't want to use that no more. But we'll park this little bad boy over here, out the way. Oh, well. That I, <laughs> well, you know, I guess that's how she feels.
Next we got the motorboat. Now we're getting into the gas part of the part of the area. This is probably my the, the goat of them all. This is the probably the first one you're gonna build. It's pretty cheap. Uh, just literal regular stuff you can gather. It don't even take iron ingots. It don't take wood or steel. None of that. Just straight raw material and gas. Like this is literally the goat. So some advantages to having a gas boat, as you see, we're not moving and you can just turn in place. So that is like a big advantage. You can do that with the sailboat. It's just not as effective. The paddle boat cannot turn in place at all. Uh, this one also comes with a chest. It has a 20 gallon fuel tank, I guess you could call it a 20 fuel fuel tank. So 20 of these gasolines. Um, you have a full size chest per usual. Uh, I'll show you guys what, what speed as you, uh, let's put some gas, you guys can see smooth 70 kilometers an hour. No problem. Don't matter which direction turn on a dime. You don't got to deal with the sail. You can fit a passenger, one passenger, two man boat. Perfect for a duo for you and your friend. If you guys are just messing around on the world, perfect. Uh, one guy can sit in the front and shoot as you approach the island, maybe get a kill. Uh, like I said, me and my buddy, we, we spent, I, I've spent at least half my hours in this boat, like on my playthroughs. Like this is the, like, like I said, the crafting costs, like you can't beat that, bro. That's, that's cheap. So cheap. Here, let's go see if we can give this little bad boy a nudge. See if we can fix his attitude. There we go. The jet ski. The jet ski is that thing. This is a oh, my bad, buddy. This is a one man's craft. A whole 20 fuel and this is the only one of the gas vehicles that does not have storage uh, I believe it only comes in one color as they all do hopefully one day we'll be able to paint them or something that'd be sick but let's check it out so oh by the way I forgot you can hit shift on the on, on the gasoline vehicles so as you can see we're going 120 if I hit the shift We'll get it up to 160, 170. This is tied with the fastest vehicle in the boat. But like I said, you cannot have a passenger and there's no storage. But if you want to go somewhere fast, look at that. Boom, turn around on a dime. We're good to go. Like you, you can't, like it's unmatched. This thing is disgusting. Like look how far we moved from the map. All the way to here to here, like fast. You know what I'm saying? And this is with me holding shift. Now, holding shift will drain your gas. This will drink your gas like, whew, it will go so fast. But yeah, this is, uh, if you're a solo and you're like, sometimes I'm more interested in like, I'll go fight the people, get what loot I can run back depot heal up lick my wounds you know uh repair my armor and then run back on the boat you know uh but this one is a low you know now we're getting into a little bit more pricey days so this one's the, the 10 ingots you know uh same thing scrap and components you'll get this over time like i said you hit a couple monuments underwater or even a couple pois you'll be fine you'll get this stuff fast and just keep an eye out for copper um, this is two nodes not hard to find most most places have at least one or two nodes So you will find this and some of the high tier monuments even have pre-crafted ingots for you in some of the crates The jet stream bow rider anyways this is kind of like one of my favorites just because like it has that little it's like the, it feels like a jet ski but you know, it's like a wakeboard boat you know all right, so this one, you can hold four passengers, as you can see. Three right here in the back, one driver. Oh, and one in the front? Hold on. That's one, two, three, four, 
Oh. So this can actually hold six people. I want to, I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to test that and see, but it has six available seats. This is the party boat, you know what I'm saying? Now this one, this is a little bit upgraded from the motorboat. As you see, we're already going 80. If I hit the shift on them, we'll easily be going like 100, 110 every now and again on a bump. Um, like I said, this is one of my personal favorites. You do have a chest in the back, 20 fuel like the other vehicles. Definitely, definitely a good one. Look at all them Marlins, boy. Having a good time. Yeah, I don't know. I just like this boat, you know. It, it almost feels like a little bass boat, a little fishing boat. Something that I would drive in real life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the turning radius is nothing close. I think the jet ski by far has, like, the dirtiest turning radius. Like, that thing can literally, like, like a real-life jet ski, just you turn in place. And as you can see, you can get a lot of control with the motorboats. You can get as close as you want. Didn't even touch it, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, if you get out of your vehicle while it's moving, sometimes it freaks out. But this one comes with a chest. Same size, standard size. Uh, like I said, the jet ski is the only one without the chest. This one, this one's a recommend if you want this. Like I said, it's slightly faster than this motorboat, but there are better options up ahead. So, this is more like just if you're not too worried about going the fastest you can go and this also appears to hold six people like i said it is not tested i haven't had six people on my server so but yeah it appears you can hold five passengers with one captain one chest 20 fuel i believe yeah everything can hold 20 fuel from uh the gas vehicles It's the rib. This can hold four people. It has a chest in the front, or in the front, in the back. It can hold 20 fuel. Here, let me hit the UI for you guys. It'll hold 20 fuel. Uh, drive here. Three passengers. Give her a spin. So this is regular cruise speed, just holding the W. We're at 115, basically, 110, 115. And then we're gonna hit that little um, shift boost on her. Now we really gonna be drinking the gas. You see how fast the gas is going down? I mean, it's going down like one per second now. But yeah, 140, 150, you know, this thing's pretty quick. Three man vehicle, chest, 20 fuel total. Not bad at all. Look at that turning radius. That's that's not bad. It's definitely the best turning radius. Better than the, the wakeboard boat. Slightly. But nothing's beating the jet ski by far. The jet ski is the ultimate turning vehicle. But yeah, this is the best boat by far. Um, it's just a gas guzzler. You gotta have a lot of gas you wanna mess with this vehicle. It'll get you where you wanna go fast. Got storage. Looks cool. Good turning radius. Oh, little bump and grind. Hey, hey, hey. You got hydraulics too. <laughs> but yeah, this is by far the best boat in the game. But you gotta pay to play, baby. This costs eight steel ingots. You're looking at 40 iron ore right there after you smelt it down and then put it through the extra smelter. You got your rubber, your components, and then your advanced parts. Probably the advanced parts is hard to get. You're only gonna get like two to four per monument, you know? And you gotta find those little red toolboxes. That's the only place that I can find them. So those are a little bit you know, those are a little bit tedious to, to really to really find. A little quick recap on the boats. We had the paddle boat. Pure trash. Don't ever build it in your life. Sailboat. Beautiful little machine. Very good in the, in the first, like, 20 days. You know, very good in the beginning. The motorboat. The god of all gods. The, the, the literal, the, the workhorse, if you will. It's cheap. It's effective. 
you and a friend can go somewhere you got loot you got fuel what more do you want you know it's beautiful my personal favorite the wake boat oh man this thing's expensive 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 because it costs that refined wood fine wood is uh five planks per so you're looking at 75 wood after you put it through the sawmill and then your advanced parts and your steel plates it's it, like, like i said it's it's expensive it's you gotta want this boat just to want it you know and you got your jet ski if you're a solo and you, you're not too worried about storage you're just rocking with a hot bar and maybe a couple things in the bottom this is this is not a bad option i mean you'll get there you'll get back fast it burns gas but not not, not as much as the rib but it's a nice solo boat the rib Crim of the crim, best of the best. It looks good, it feels good, it drives good, it guzzles the gas, but it gives you the power. It's fast. You can bring three friends with you. Yeah, definitely a good boat. If you if you got the materials. But to be honest, if you're not worried about, you know, anywhere from I don't know, a 10 10 to 50 kilometer mile an hour difference, um anything like any of these gas boats are perfectly viable they're all good but you know there's there's nothing wrong with them now we're gonna get to our extra crafts and before i know i know you guys want me to you guys want me to ugh, not yet not yet not yet what we're gonna look at first this mm -mm -mm. this little bad boy so this you could pick up at the trader for a value you see uh in the bottom of the mobile phone um pop-up it has a value well you need about a value of 500 and you'll be able to get this scooter and some batteries so uh this scooter is kind of like the jet ski it's very personal if you keep this in your hot bar it's very good to get back if you if you died somewhere look i'm going 120 kilometers an hour um you can go to the surface sharks can't mess with you nothing can mess with you when you're on this like this thing is fast and it just it it turns on a dime like i just 180'd like it, this thing's disgusting But yeah, this also very very good for day one. Um, so if you do, if you just want to wait to get a gas boat, uh, you can buy batteries from the trader every couple days or so. It depends how your server settings are. But yeah, the trader refreshes and you can go buy more batteries, or you can build a battery charger if you upgrade your research table enough and research it. And you just need a little generator and some gas. But yeah, it, 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 like I said, it really just depends how what your play style is. So this is not a bad option. This is the little diver propelled vehicle, the underwater scooter. Um, in real life, they call these a DPV. But yeah, anyways. Um, so if you don't want the sailboat and you're not worried about the loot box and you don't want to have to deal with the wind and the sail and the turning it and dealing, yeah, I understand. I've been there. The scooter is very viable. Next, we got the helicopter. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it is not cheap. Scrap, that's nothing. Don't worry about that. But these steel ingots, that's 50 iron ore that you got to smelt down and, and turn and, yeah, 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 refine, refine again. Uh, six advanced parts, actually surprisingly not bad, less than the other ones. So not bad. 10 electronics. You know, that's a little costly because sometimes you got to build generators and other stuff. So, yeah, I get it in components. But I guess probably your biggest hassle will be these two right here. That's a lot of iron. But uh, this does have a chest. As you can see, it's in the back. We got some little trash in here. Uh, this can hold two people, one passenger, one driver. It has a 20 fuel tank. And... This is uh, basically it. So you sit in it and it cranks up. I haven't pressed anything except F to sit in. Now, mind you, this does float on the water. So you just press W to go straight up. You use your mouse to lean forward. I'm leaning my stick forward and now I'm holding W at the same time. Just like uh, in Rust, if you ever played Rust or some other games, uh, maybe Battlefield, 
uh, they may have a similar flying thing. So the more you push forward, like it can still, like as you see, we're still gaining lift and we're going f as fast as the other boats right now. But you can actually, this is the actual fastest vehicle in the game. You just have to look at the water the whole time. So as you can see, we're going 250 right now and uh, <laughs> all we can see is water. No idea where we're going. And yeah, you want to turn around. Just m turn your uh, mouse to the left while I'm hitting A to uh, like rotate my, you see how you can rotate it with A and D. Pretty similar, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys forgot the keybinds, but like I said, this thing is insane. And I've, uh, I've been flying with it a lot. It's super fun. Super addicting, super convenient. Like I said, this is in-game stuff though. You gotta find the blueprint. Um, to find the blueprint, you're more than likely, uh, As you can see, you can just land in the water. It's not gonna sink, you're fine. Um, you can also land it uh, on land, <laughs> land on land. But when it comes to land, um, sometimes when you get out, if there's rocks, like let's say you're on an island or something like that, there's rocks, this can get stuck in the rocks and then you'll get in to drive it and it'll like flip over and do like a back flip. Oh, that's another thing too with the, <laughs> I, I learned with the helicopter if you get a little bit of height you start going forward a little bit get some momentum going and then you just pull back and just keep pulling back do a little back flip you know what I'm saying pretty chill pretty chill but yeah the helicopter is good and uh you can land on your base and stuff like that, but be aware, like, if you log out, there has been a few times that, uh, my helicopter got stuck in the foundations or in the ceilings, and I had to demolish them to get it out. So, just keep that in mind as well. It is a bit annoying. But, I love this thing. So convenient. Best vehicle in the game. Just here good and as you can see it has 700 hp whack away this a few times it'll feel better i said 700 sorry 7000 uh this also has 7000 like i said these two are by far the best vehicles in the game um but i don't really use this one it's it's good but it it just in my opinion it uses a lot of gas i don't know maybe it's placebo maybe it's my imagination but yeah, these are based, these are the last two vehicles in the game. And uh, I would say the helicopter is uh, obviously S tier, S tier. I even consider this S tier. It's so fast, dude. It's so fast and fun. This is A tier. This is also A tier just because it's so, you, you can't beat its price. You, you can literally build this if you if you unlock the blue i think you have to find this blueprint yeah by the way you if you want the helicopter blueprint where is it at loner base i found it there a bunch of times uh because i've done like seven playthroughs and iron helmet all the way in the bottom right so over here and over here that's where you can definitely find, uh, you'll either find this blueprint, this blueprint, this blueprint, or you know what I'm saying? One of the top four easily. I want to, I can't remember. I've had this for so long. I can't remember how I unlocked it. I think, yeah, I don't know if you researched this. I can't remember. But yeah, long story short, I think that's about all folks. I am working on Death Wish episode two for those watching. Uh, go peep it out. Episode one. It was pretty epic. It is, uh, max settings one life very difficult but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for stopping by the bbc tom's best boat club always appreciate you guys and remember if you want to have some style man get you get yourself that little wakeboard boat baby i'll have a good one peace